America East Hoops fans. I'm Danny Kleppinger here with your AE Hoops chat for the week. And we have a good one here. We have not only is she one of the best America East basketball players currently, but maybe ever in this conference. Blanca Milan joins me now. Blanca, thanks so much for giving me some of your time. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, before we talk about your personal accolades and just how well you've been playing, I want to talk about your team as a whole because you guys have won nine straight games, only one loss this season. We're at mid-February, so if you were going to take a team check-in right now, what is clicking for you guys and what is moving you in the right direction moving forward? I think we learn how to take things, you know, day by day, especially with uh, the situation we are living right now don't take anything for granted you know so every time we get in the gym we just go as hard as possible and we compete a lot you know um, every single day Uh, it also helps that we've been playing together for four five three years you know that's a long time so we know each other pretty well we spend a lot of time off the court you know right now we can only see each other so everything builds up and I think that's what it got us to where we are right now. Yeah, fifth year for you there in Maine. I'm excited to see you back on the court. We were we were sad to see you go down with that injury. I'm happy to see you bounce right back and, and still be absolutely unstoppable in this conference. It's been very fun to watch. So I want to go just go back to last weekend on Sunday. You have that game-winning block in the closing seconds to beat UMass Lowell. Well, just take me through that possession. Make me feel like I was there. I mean, it was really exciting, you know, like a close game is always exciting. Uh, we had a very good stop, the possession before, but then we missed free throws. So we had to get another stop and it was like no time there. So I could hear Coach Amy screaming, chase her, chase her. So it's just like in the inbound, like jumping like crazy. And then I saw she was springing to the corner. So I was like, oh my God, there's no time left. So she's going to shoot it. So I was like, you just got to go. And then I knew I have a pretty long, you know, um, wingspan so I just thought about like touching the ball but not touching her because we didn't want to risk it at all so mm-hmm. I just sprinted into the corner and thank god I blocked it man that had to have felt good <laughs> yeah it was very fun that's awesome okay so you've scored 12 points in the first quarter on Saturday's game and then you go into Sunday's game and you have more than half of your team's total points but I know it's a little bit weird to say that that's all you, but a lot of that is your team's confidence in you and giving you the ball. What can you say about how your team um, seems to have confidence in you? And does that help your own personal confidence? I think is our team has like such a high basketball IQ. You know, I play mm-hmm. with so many smart players uh, that they know our offense really, really well. And they know me very well too. So everything we run, it just clicks. And then they know when and where to get me the ball, you know. So without them, like, absolutely, I could never do what, what I'm doing. Uh, so it's all them, you know. They're so smart and they know everything so well that they just make it so easy for me. I remember covering you when you were possibly a sophomore, maybe a freshman, and you were really good then. And now you just have continued to get better and better. And I am curious now, knowing that it's mid-February, we're we're on the breach of March here. Do you feel like you're playing your best basketball ever? Or when would you say that that has happened for you? Yeah, I think I'm pretty much at my highest right now. You know, I had good seasons, but I don't think I understood or had the view of the game that I have right now you know um, being hurt was painful but I think it brought me to the point where I'm right now you know uh, so I could take time learn everything offense defense you know study the game even more um, and obviously my teammates are there for me every time so I think I'm at probably one of my highest points. I'll switch back to your team here a little bit since you've been giving them so much credit. You guys have won 10 road games in a year that is unprecedented and something no one's ever seen before. How do you feel like your team has responded just to the pandemic in general? I think they're doing so great. Like everyone is so aware that we have to be so, so, so careful, you know, if we want to Uh, achieve what we want and if we want to finish this season strong so when I say that we don't see anyone other than ourselves like I mean it you know we've been extremely careful everyone takes care of what we do you know always like following all the safety measurements and everything so I'm just so proud because especially for the freshmen or for the younger players it can be really hard you know to be in college and not getting the full experience that as upperclassmen got at some point so I just like I'm extremely proud of them because they know they're here uh, for a reason you know and they are working so so hard to get what we want. 
Yeah, that's great discipline. Imagine them in three years from now and what they're going to be able to bring to the team then. That's that's very cool. Okay, I do want to talk to you about your gear game coming up this weekend because you play my former Stony Brook Sea Wolves. Um, that is my alma mater. But you head to Stony Brook tomorrow, you said. Talk to me about this series because this has become one of the most competitive series in the conference. How important is this to your guys' team and your season to get a win over Stony Brook and possibly a sweep? Um, it's really important, you know, especially we're it's the last game of regular season, you know, so we have the possibility of uh, being regular season champions. So it means a lot, honestly, and uh, it's always fun to play, you know, the top team in the league with uh, in a weekend. And uh, if it's there even more, you know, because last year, like we couldn't even play the championship game. So there's a lot of things that uh, make the game like even more exciting, you know, so we've been waiting for it. Um, especially I couldn't play none of the games, you know, and I saw my teammates out there giving it all and they didn't get the results they wanted all the time. So we are all very excited about it and we know it's going to be a hard game because they are a great team, you know, but we're ready for it. Is there any revenge factor in you that says, I want to get it done, especially this weekend, especially against Stony Brook? I mean, definitely it is, you know, to watch <laughs> like to not being able to be there last year and, uh, we split with them, so I'm I'm excited to, you know, go down there. Well, Blanca, I appreciate you giving me some of your time. Best of luck this weekend. I know it's not a fun travel day. I've done that travel <laughs> between Stony Brook and Maine, so I, I understand that it's going to be a long day of travel for you, but rest up those legs and good luck this weekend. Thank you so much.